doing guys? Um, my name's Scott with Canine Healing. This is our old dog Sarge. He has an aortic tumor and we're treating it with uh, cannabis oil and we've decided to put together a little video showing you how we made it and um, it's not a how-to, it's just what we're doing. We want to share that with you. If you like the video, please like, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be posting a lot more. So we've got this uh, little capsules. We're going to put them right into the pill pocket. And uh, not that tough to get it in them. Good boy. We've got about four ounces of uh, weed. Most of this is um, just all the leaves and debris that came off of trimming buds. And this is actual bud that I have um, just put in here and done this to break it all up. So we can release those trichomes off the leaves uh, with the alcohol as easily as possible. So I got my material here. I'm going to put it in this pot over here. Stay here, I'll, I'll come back to it. <clears throat> what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do this a little bit different. Since I have a nice, I have a nice big uh, Ziploc here. I'm going to pour the alcohol right into the Ziploc temporarily. All of this is just to, this step is just to get the, separate the CBD and the THC from the leaves, from the, the vegetation. So, first time I did this, a little disturbing, putting an ounce of alcohol right into a nice bag of weed like that but what we're doing here is creating a medicine the cannabis oil for our dog Sarge who has been dealing with a, a large tumor uh, on his aorta I'm gonna dump it all into here and uh, one thing I should have said right out of the gate, this isn't necessarily meant to be an instructional video. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. But if you're going to do this at home, of course this is alcohol. It's very explosive, very flammable. If you have an open flame here, you can create a huge friggin' problem for yourself. Um, don't do it indoors. I'm outdoors. I'm not using any open flame for my heat source. I'm using a, an electric skillet. And uh, if you look inside, I've got about an inch or two of water in there. So we're going to do like a double boil type of a situation um, to burn off the, the alcohol. I just put in this uh, bud in no particular order, just getting rid of it. And um, so I'm just letting this soak and come take a look at that. You can see this. All we have here is just a little weed stew. And it's just a lot of vegetation and uh, about, I don't know, a quart of alcohol in here right now. Okay, so I'm just letting that soak for <clears throat> a minute. And now I have a funnel. I need to get all that fluid into this pot without all the vegetation. We want to strain this. So I have a funnel. I'm going to use some of this material right here. This is some new... Um, synthetic stuffing for uh, a pillow. It's a brand new bag of it. I'm going to use it as a filter. So I'm going to stick the uh, the filling in here like that. We filtered the weed, the alcohol, we soaked the weed in the alcohol, then we filtered the vegetation out of the alcohol. And I did that whole process twice. I've done this several, a few times. And um, when I did the whole process twice, I got a lot more oil out of the amount of weed I started with. So I would recommend doing that. It just takes longer to burn off the alcohol. It doesn't matter if you use a gallon of alcohol. When you get done, you're just gonna have the oil left over. The process will take longer, but I think you'll get a lot more. And it's so darn expensive because uh, when you buy your, cannabis uh, it's not cheap and you're 
filling the whole bag with alcohol and uh, you want to make sure you get get out of it what you need all right so I'm done with the boiling this down and reducing all of the alcohol from the soil this is four ounces basically of cannabis so I've decided to put it on this piece of glass that I had just laying around it was a supposed to go on top of a business desk because of the the hassle I had with um, getting this into a dosing size and I know a lot of people put this stuff into a syringe and it looks real easy and simple to uh, just squirt this stuff out of a syringe but after it cools down it's extremely thick and I did it with my stuff and I couldn't even get it out of the damn syringe without heating it each time you can see this stuff is really really thick I put it on here because I'm gonna start spreading it out now I'm gonna leave this here to just continue to let whatever drops out drops out but what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna start spreading this into a real thin film of cannabis oil and then I'm gonna come back later with my toothpick or whatever item it is that I'm gonna scrape off my rice size dose and then I'm gonna put it into these uh, gel caps you know regular capsules like you'd have a vitamin in and uh, I'm not doing this to uh, go into production here to make a living this is for my dog and um, this is just I think gonna be super easy for me to always access every drop of oil that I've created here and then this is just a little teeth scraper a dental tool that we use on our dogs that I'm using to just get a little bit of oil into the thing and I'm going to show you I want you to do a close-up so you can actually see how much I'm getting in here I'm gonna do another one new one two three four five six seven okay so if you can close up on the the end of this tool I'm pushing it and it builds up a bead on the front of this material like that and that's like plenty that's a easily a dose and these doses are even a little bit bigger than what we've done in the past because the dog is now uh, used to taking this uh, medicine so has a little bit of a tolerance to it so I just scrape it get it on the inside of the capsule and then I'm just gonna put the cap on it and that's done so we do these with our dog once in the morning once at night and we've seen a miraculous change in the dog's overall well-being and health and that's why we've gone out spent some money got ourselves some some weed and uh, it's legal in this state so we're not breaking any laws but we can't get this product for our dog it's not for sale anywhere and this is not typical CBD oil this is CBD oil with THC in it okay so we I didn't finish this in one day because it was just getting to be a lot and I had other things to do but everything was contained on this piece of glass so I can just pick up here where I left off and you can see the majority of this has been completed and I have made uh, 200 capsules so far out of the amount of oil that I have. This is 100. I have 100 in another container. And I'm just going to show you how I, um, you know, with a blade, how we can get all of this material off of here, so that we, or so that we can actually use it and get it into the capsules. So you can see there's a ton of oil on here and the stuff is it's so expensive you want to get everything you can I figure that uh, based on what I'm able to get here you probably could get 60 capsules of this basic size out of one ounce of, of uh, 
material. And I mean cannabis, vegetable, bud, whatever. So that's it. Like that's how much you're gonna put in there. That's the whole thing. So you can see there's a ton of it here. Uh, for cleanup, I would just use a bottle of alcohol, like in your pots and pans and utility, um, all of these utensils. Wipe them off with alcohol and then soap and water. But that's it, guys. Hope I helped you.